Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, gamers included. Welcome back to probably the best non Terraria Terraria series Let's Play style on YouTube. Now, uh, to, to make sure the word best holds up, we definitely need to start off with some good old fashioned pay to win loot boxes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, this thing again. So, I AFK'd, and I have a friend named Mending, and the goal is to dig through all of these chests and see if we have any other instances of our dear friend Mending. Um, so, I, I, I cheated. I peeked in this hopper, but nothing else. So, let's see. Uh, what do we have? Now, today we have some pretty big build plans, by the way. Um, we're going to build a lighthouse, finally. I, I have a really cool idea, so hopefully I can build it well, but... Oh boy, mending number two. Don't mind if I do. But anyways, hopefully I can build it well. Um, I, I think it'll be cool. And yeah, uh, I did AFK overnight and in between episodes. Finally, I've been looking for some mending and it looks like we are ending up with two occurrences of mending. That's not bad at all. Uh, now, before we get into the build, I have one more thing that I'd like to do. I, I did go ahead and organize. I, I need to drink this water, but this, um, this is a problem. And... I think it would be fun to turn all of this into levels. So, we'll drop our good bow off so no accidents happen. And uh, this stuff too. I, I really don't want to mishap. And take a guess. How many levels will I get from one chest and uh, maybe a half? How many levels? Let's go. Aha, uh -huh, drum roll. Drum roll, please. Uh, four levels. Four levels, not bad. 69 all the way up to 73. Now, I, I did not go through any of this, I'll do that off camera, but I have successfully moved all of our enchanted books, uh, other than the stuff from the new AFK session, over to the library, and then their brand new home. Now, I, I have slightly failed you, uh, there's no organization system, it's all random, just books everywhere, so maybe I'll have to come back and clean that up a little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably definitely because I can't find anything, but yeah, not today. No, no, no. So, the lighthouse. Now, I've been doing some thinking, some surveying before the episode, trying to figure out exactly where this thing should be. Now, initially, I thought over here on that sand island, but I, I took a look at the real estate, and it's really just not good. I don't like to call things bad, but this would be a pretty bad spot for a lighthouse. Um, You see, like, we wouldn't be able to see it from anything that we're building over there, which is a bummer. I definitely want to see what I'm about to build. So um, this is out. I think I'll turn this to a big giant rock or something. That could be cool. And then probably just dig the water out uh, or the land so the water can cut through. I, I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, not there. So the only other spot is, of course, over here up on this hill, I think. So that's the plan. I, I think by the end of the episode, we'll have... A giant lighthouse in right here, like over here. Uh, but to begin today's episode, I need to terraform. This hill or this area is definitely not big enough at all. So to, to fix that, we'll chop out a lot of these trees and pull the land upward. So I have more of a cliff over here, which means I have to dig out a lot of sand. Not a problem though, because the shovel is super fast, uh, which is good. I could leave the sand, but sand can be turned into glass, and I am a decent fan of glass. So, um, terraform time, starting about now. Alright, maybe something that looks a little bit like this should be more suited. Ow, uh, what was that? Uh-huh, uh, for a lighthouse. I think that looks pretty good. I definitely would love to come back in and and do a little bit more terraforming to this, this whole area, but I am pretty pleased with how that ended up. Now we need to talk about the build itself and what I'm doing. Then we'll talk about what the build is for because I sort of feel like I just jumped into this without any explanation. Uh, but the build, what is it going to be? Well, tower over here, rectangle entrance. Tower tall, rectangle very, very short. Maybe, kind of, somewhat. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's the build. <laughs> uh, or at least what I'm thinking. Now, uh, we definitely want some kind of cool roof shape going on. So, I think if we were to... Would this be too short? Um, if we were to start our roof here? I, I don't think it would be. Uh... 
No, I, I think that could be fine. Uh, like a shorter entrance area. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. So we'll have this uh, interesting medieval -y shape roof that I forgot the name of again uh, on the build. And then uh, the build. Well, what is it for? Uh, we got really lucky with this world. The stronghold, it, it's pretty close to where we ended up living. We live over here, obviously, and the stronghold is right over that way. It's a diagonal, uh, probably, I don't know, if I had to take a guess, like a thousand blocks at most. It's pretty close in the grand scheme of things. We've been going over there quite a bit, and I would like to continue going over there quite a bit, uh, but we, we need a better way to get there. Uh, the better way? Well, I think that is where the lighthouse comes in. This lighthouse will be a full moving city. This lighthouse will hold the entrance to an ice hyper road thing that we will be building very, very soon. This road will be pretty much a straight diagonal from here, and I figured the lighthouse, well, that would be a pretty good entrance or exit place from our whole area. Lighthouses traditionally symbolize something. A city, a, a village, just land in general. And I like the idea of this lighthouse representing our town, our whole settlement, our whole civilization thing. So that's what this build will be for. We may not end up doing the hyper road thing immediately, depending on when these 1.14 slime chunk bug things get fixed, uh, but we will be doing it eventually, and, and hopefully, hopefully sooner rather than later. Now the build style. Earlier on in the series, I talked about doing some sort of end-themed lighthouse, which would be really cool, don't get me wrong. I, I still love that idea, but I thought about it. An end-themed lighthouse? It would look cool, but it wouldn't match a single thing that I've built, so I decided to stick with our normal block palette. We'll be doing our mossy variants, our favorite wood type, dark oak wood, of course, uh, spruce, and white wool. We have lots of white wool, and I need to use that stuff up fast. Um, it's just overflowing. Mm hmm aha, yes, yes, yes. We can't see too much right now, but I think for a roof, this should be good. Maybe we we round off these areas and, and they're a little bit, they are a little chunky, but for now, this should be good. Now on the sides here, I think we could get some window action going on. Maybe, maybe, it'll, it'll be tight in here uh, because the floor will be raised up, so maybe not much of a window there. The windows could be saved over here on the tower. Hmm, maybe something with just a little bit less white wool would look a little bit better. I, I think this strip dark oak wood looks cool, so we'll go with that for now, but uh, let's talk about the tower. Um, this thing. So, um, I have a secret, and, and listen here. It, uh, I'll tell you guys because I trust you, but if I hear it anywhere else, um, the series is unfortunately gonna have to end, so keep it quiet, but uh, towers, they are my ultimate weakness. I am not very good at them, or at least I don't think I'm very good at them, so uh, this is going to be a big experiment, basically. Um, now, what I'm thinking is the roof will just sort of blend over into the tower because that would make sense, and then um, the tower will go up uh, like two or three stories past this. The tower will start off being cobblestone, uh, and then maybe... I guess somewhere around uh, like one more layer up or something, turn into like stone brick and then turn into white wool or something. Um, then wood, yeah, I'm, I'm really not too sure. <laughs> uh, towers, I, I'm, I'm serious, are, are where I struggle the most in Minecraft. I'm just not very good at them. Usually they end up looking weird or um, looking wrong. And uh, yeah, uh, towers are, are tough for me. But never let your weaknesses define you. No, no, no. If, if you can't build something, that doesn't mean don't build it. That means practice, and eventually, hopefully, you improve. For me, it's only been about eight or so years, um, and I have almost no improvement, but it's okay. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm trying the tower look still, so... It, it, <laughs> I haven't given up. That's the important part, right? Uh, now, we definitely need lots of... Um, I think mossy cobblestone on the bottom of the tower. We could maybe mix in, like, like some andesite too, um, on there. That that might work. And you know, I, I will tell you this. I definitely want to mix in another roof line. So actually, let's let's keep in mind that we're doing a circle here. But um, let's let's break out of it really really quick to do 
this um, arch. Just a basic, plain old, simple 45 degree angle roof line that will sort of house a window. Like we'll put a big window underneath here and that will help break up this whole stone bottom, I think. Um, especially if we do this on each and every side, maybe. Maybe that'll help. And I, I don't know. A after all, we might not do a raised floor inside of this build. And it might be better to just keep the floor on the floor and... Um, have a little bit more room for windows, so I don't know, but I, I think something like this could help this the bottom of the tower look a little bit more creative, a little bit more different, which is good. I mean, hey, it's a start, right? That's a start. All right, all right. I think that's okay looking. I, I did a different roof on this side. I figured maybe we have a huge, huge open window over here. That could be kind of cool. Maybe that just goes right up. I don't know. Uh, but this is where everything gets all confused and super tricky. So I don't want the tower to go in, I think. I, I think I want this build to go straight up from here. But how do we do it? Um... See, the only thing that I can think of is going in one step, right? Like, just a little bit and continuing upwards, but I, I just don't know about that. So, the other idea is to just switch to stone brick and start going up, um, which I think is what I'm going to try. Uh, <laughs> I'm very nervous about this idea here. Um... It's not much so far, but, hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not now. No, 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 no. Go away. Oh, that's a big patrol. Oh, that's a huge patrol. Oh, my. Uh, do the patrols get larger as as I kill them? I think they do. Um, uh, do we jump? Um, all right. Let's do this. Uh, sorry, guys. You're going to have to go. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot in here. Um, well, uh, they're not very smart. Uh, they shoot each other. <laughs> Victory has been claimed. Uh, yet again. Foul pillagers. Okay, well, I think the tower is coming along nicely. I'm not using as much um, white wool on it as I had thought I would, but, you know, I, I'm pretty happy with how this build is coming out. So I don't think I'm going to change a single thing. Um, now, I think I'm starting to reach where I want the top of the tower to be, and I, I sort of envision a bit of an open top, um, somewhat, so... I'm going to go ahead and try and get it in. I think I'm going to kind of replicate that whole arch thing in the middle a little bit, um, I think, and then create some kind of balcony up there. Now, on the inside, to get up, I think a spiral staircase is certainly the way to go. So, I, I guess just a beam going all the way up. Uh, so, I'll have to grow another tree and cut it down. Um... And that should do, but I, I'm having issues with dark oak saplings. I'm like running out. Um, I never get enough, which is, uh, if I'm being honest, a little frustrating. So the spiral staircase, uh, we'll do that thing with oak wood. I think oak will be the floor on the inside of this lighthouse, and um, we'll put slabs in. Um, in in the mix too uh, and on the top half here to prevent spawns but I need to chop out these corners here to make sure this stays like a circle a circle spiral thing so that's how that will be done going all the way up I need to get this in so I can actually access the top now the, on the inside of this lighthouse I honestly don't think I will be doing any sort of true floors we will put windows in but I, I don't think I have a need for actual floors on the inside of the thing, so I, I won't put them in. We'll, we'll decorate the bottom, but uh, the whole tower, I, 
I just don't see a point in decorating it. Okay, so now here we are at the top of the lighthouse. Um, what I'm thinking is some sort of three by three um, like cube of illumination. So probably like glowstone or, or redstone lamps or something. Um, but we may temporarily put yellow wool in here as sort of um, a placeholder for today's episode. But um, then after like doing that whole three by three thing, we need to figure out you know, some sort of roof, and that's where I'm very, very stumped. Uh, I don't know if I should just go, like, straight up and, and do a roof, or if it should honestly just be open for now, or, or really what to do up here. Um, I, I think this whole 3x3 three three thing will be attached to the middle beam, so we can actually walk up here, like, we can crouch up or something. Um, well, that's about all I know. <laughs> so, I... Uh, I don't know. Um, back to the drawing board. And, you know, I, I guess while I'm at the drawing board, I could do the floor on the inside. Uh, might as well get that done. Okay, well, uh, get ready to see a huge, huge, huge transformation. But first, I, I actually need some campfires, but not with oak logs. No, no, no. Um, I think I'd, I'd like to put some up top, but first, the build. So let's go ahead and, and get a view, which means a little farther back, uh, because it looks way better when you can actually see the whole thing. Aha. Uh -huh. I think that's a lighthouse, I think. <laughs> I am really happy with how it turned out, actually. This is the first time I have built a tower and not wanted to tear it down right after. Um... Yeah, and, and I think it looks really, really cool. Now, uh, I hope you like my placeholders. That will all be glowstone um, when we go to the nether. I think we'll go to the nether like next episode or something. I'm just feeling the build right now and wanting to, to work on um, this and the terraforming. But the top, now, it, it's nothing fancy, but I think it works. Uh, what I did is I created just a small dome. I, I thought about it like a pointed roof, but I decided on a dome... Uh, and yeah, like a like a shallow dome. Um, I don't know. I, I think it looks good, and it leaves the whole top area open. Uh, I've been running around and taking a look at the build from different angles, and I like just about every angle of the thing. So I'm I'm. It's safe to say I'm really really pleased with how it turned out. But uh, but 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 we're we're not done quite yet. Before I end the episode, I definitely would like to to terraform this stuff a little bit. Get a bridge going. Um, over to here and uh, put a few final touches on the lighthouse um, and also finish it. I never did like um, the walls in here or anything, but I have the interior kind of done. I didn't decorate it yet, but um, windows in here, same windows that we've been doing pretty much everywhere. We have um, oak wood or uh, dark oak, you know, the spiral staircase goes up. There's no floor really in here other than this area. I could do like a bed or or something, but I, I don't really know. I don't think I'll be coming inside of the build much. This is more of a, like, a for looks thing, but the campfires. I think we could do one on every corner here to create a bit of, like, a signal thing. I don't know if the smoke is going to get annoying or, or anything like that, um, but I think this could look cool. So uh, let's go ahead and climb back down and check it out from far away. But by the way, we're, we're on a half slab here, so I don't have to block any spawns other than in here, but... Um, I'm not worried about it right now. Once we have glowstone, uh, this will be way too bright for any kind of spawning. So, yep, um, that's what's going on here. Um, completely spawn-proof, which is really, really good. Other than um, these corners here. I need to get something on top of those to stop spawns. But campfires, how do they look? Yeah, yeah, I think that's cool. Uh, kind of funny. The smoke doesn't go higher than the, the, the roof. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of uh, pointless, but it's fine. It's fine. It looks cool. I like the fire animation, so I'm happy with it. It is staying, um, and we are going to go ahead and finish that up and put in uh, a bridge. So down here, what's happening with the terraforming? These trees are all coming out, and a bridge will be installed uh, coming straight off of this area. So this can open up finally, and I'll copy this path, the road down here. Um, it'll go right over to here, and then 
a, a bridge going across, and then I'll raise the land, and we'll have, um, if you can follow my imaginary wandering, um, we'll have, uh, hold on, <laughs> a, a path coming up the hill here this way, like in front of the, the lighthouse, and then wandering straight up to it, and I'll fill some plants in uh, on the sides of this build as well, and, and some trees. Uh, this stuff, I think we can just pretty much move it all inside. We'll, we'll actually keep the um, patrol banner over here too as a little decoration and and a taunt. Um, this is my, my victory banner, so we can hang it. Um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's nice. Yeah. I would like to acknowledge, though, um, how much of the build I've done off-camera today. It's intentional to, to mess with things and move the project along, but also, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I seem to be catching a cold. I'm afraid. I'm very, very afraid. Because, you see, with my job, I kind of have to talk. And um, to, to, to keep getting the videos out, I, I need my voice to not give up on me, so... Um, I've been trying to take it a little easier today, um, I hope you don't mind, uh, and I don't know if I'm even really sounding different or anything, but, oh boy, my throat, I, I can feel it, uh, which is weird, I don't usually get sick in the summer at all, so, I guess I gotta drink a lot of tea, um, and just, just take it easy, uh, which is fine, I, I'm fine with taking it easy, <laughs> um, so bridge, hmm, what do I want to use to build the bridge, uh, Hmm, what bridge should I... Okay, that's spruce. We could do a spruce bridge. Sure. Uh, let's try that. Attention! Attention! Alert! Um, you know, I, I decided it would not be an epic gamer move, as I sort of like to say, to put the red... Er, to put the glowstone off. So, we need to drop off some stuff over here, clear out the inventory just a little bit. You never know what you're going to find on the nether. And then go over to the nether, actually. But we have our silk touch pickaxe, we have some dirt, we have, um, bow, arrow, so we should be good. We need to move on over to the nether and find nine times four worth of glowstone. That is 36, by the way. A uh, little fun fact, in elementary school, I memorized my nine table, like the whole like 27 and so on and so on thing, and I thought I was a genius, but um, f this, so the pigmen, they still seem to be aggravated with me, which is making me very sad. I thought this bug was meant to be fixed. Um, all right, let's, let's try this. They could just be loaded into aggravation mode because I was you know, kind of hurting them near there, so let's try running far away and running back. That should fix the aggravated pigmen issue, though. If we can get far enough away from the frustrated pigmen, uh, yeah, like this. This guy doesn't hate me, do you? Ah, uh, yes, this is my friend. Okay, all right, uh-huh, I'm happy with that. Finally, I can live at peace here in the nether. Um, hmm, these pigmen seem to... To not care about me. This is such a happy thing. I'm so glad that we can actually come into the nether now and work. I really, really didn't uh, like the whole every pigman hating me type of uh, thing. But this glowstone should be good. So with glowstone, uh, you can either use fortune on any tool to potentially multiply its drops. Or you can use good old silk touch to, to pick up the block itself. We will be using... Um, uh, good old silk touch to do that. We need 36 of these blocks for the top of that tower. So um, I, I mean, I think we should have enough in this chunk here, but if not uh, We'll just go over to one of the other ones and pick the stuff up um. Oh my oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, get out of here. Oh man, you can see the tower that I built from over here. This is amazing. I really, really love this and I can't wait to see what it looks like with shaders on and with glowstone in the top. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm so happy with this build. I, I can't stop just like stepping back and taking a look at it. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, I'm finishing the project, I promise. I'm staying on task, I'm not just, just admiring what I built. Um, I'm sorry, uh, uh, okay, maybe I am um, not staying on task. Maybe I'm not, um, I'll focus. 
And, you know, one more thing. While I'm terraforming, I might as well reveal the grand plan for the skeleton uh, farm entrance. Now, uh, this area, it, it will be full of plants and, and trees and stuff. I have the trees in. I'm pretty happy with how those are. But the skeleton entrance. Uh, so we'll have this road continue out this way and go, boom, over into a cave. Then we'll have our entrance right here at the back of the cave instead of up on the surface. So if I have to go down, I don't have to go up, you know, to, to go back down to use the thing. I just cross the bridge, run right into the cave, and then go straight down, um, you know, into the farm. So that's the plan. I'll probably decorate this thing all, like, skeleton-like and, and stuff, you know, to make it fit a theme. But for now, I, I won't be focusing on it too much. I will go back in and, and remove this nasty, scary stuff and, you know, get my normal cave feel going with the cobblestone and the andesite and everything. But, um... Yeah, the cave isn't really the big focus of today. I'd, I'd like to just finish up this whole little, I guess, island that I have out here now. Um, and then uh, move on to uh, whatever's next. Oh, and every time I sleep, I get sent out of the lighthouse. So <laughs> I might need to move the bed, maybe. Uh, it might be a good idea. Um, I don't know. That's weird. That's very weird. All right, well, the build is done now, but first, I'd like to, to do the comment of the day before we go and take a look at the build. Uh, so, episode 39, the comment is from Stormtrooper1948 Gaming. Um, the question is, would you rather live in an end city or a woodland mansion? Uh, I think this is a really, really good question. Um, so... I had replied to the comment and I said end city because I think that would be cool, right? But um, now that I think about it, a woodland mansion might be a little bit better because it's much larger and easier to manage. Like I could repurpose rooms as like, you know, storage or food or uh, bedroom and, you know, things like that, which would be really, really cool. And end city would be neat, but I, I think it would just be too un unconventional, too tedious to live in because of the whole jumping and up and down and everything like that. But what would you guys rather live in, End City or Woodland Mansion? Uh, now let's go ahead and take a look at the finished build uh, for the first time with shaders. Uh, oh yeah. Now of course the sun, the sun, the sun is is hitting me in the eyes. Um, <laughs> so it's being obscured a little bit, but I think that is really, really, really cool looking. Uh, let's go ahead and run up at the build and, and take a look around. Let me show you what I did down here in the cave. I, I didn't really do all that much. I was still waiting for uh, things to grow. It's really dark because of the shader, so excuse that. But I have puddles of water and then like grass going over. And then, of course, down, up, you know, um, all that's pretty straightforward. Uh, so, yep, that's the skeleton cave. I'll probably come back and do a little bit more detailing to it at, at a later time. Then going up this uh, hill here, we have a well that I decided to make. I thought that would be a nice little touch here for the lighthouse. Uh, then, of course, the lighthouse. So inside, you know, pretty standard. Um, nothing has really changed in here. I uh, just put some fences for detailing, um, some carpets and everything like that. Uh, but I'd like to add one more thing, and I th think the thing could go, like, um, maybe here, uh, or maybe one over, maybe right there. Uh, and that thing is, boom, a treasure map, a decorational treasure map. I'm still getting thrown outside of the build, by the way, when I sleep, but I think the treasure map is uh, perfect for a build like this. We have, you know, like a whole lighthouse and a lookout and everything, and then, of course, a treasure map to complete everything uh, but i think that just about wraps up the project for today so i have a lot of item moving to do off camera now i don't know i think it's pretty cool looking i hope you guys enjoyed this one i'd like to send a special shout out to witchcraft for supporting me thank you very much thank you everyone for watching links in the description like subscribe and go have a good day my name is waddles i will see you in the next one goodbye everyone